Well, hello. These are the announcements for the Tomorrow River Lutheran Parish for May 22nd, 2022. That is the sixth Sunday of Easter. I am delighted that uh, you and I are at work together on the kingdom of God in this place. And I thank you for joining me here for these announcements so that you can know more fully what's going on. We continue to have three worship services every Sunday. Uh, masking continues to be optional. We are uh, abiding by and watching the CDC guidelines. Uh, right now, Portage County has moved into a uh, moderate uh, position. Uh, still still our, our choice as to whether we mask or not. Uh, and so masking is optional. But for those of you with particular health concerns, particular vulnerabilities, uh, you probably should be looking up the CDC site yourself where it breaks down uh, the risk by county. I'll send a, a link uh, in these announcements so that you can, so that you can do that. Uh, at any rate, we are having three worship services. We have the indoor service at Peace at 8.30, the outdoor service at Nelsonville at 9.30, and the indoor service at Nelsonville at 10.15. Those times almost got away from me there. Uh, and uh, we would love to have you come to one of those worship services. It's really important for us to, to gather. The, the scripture uh, commands us not to neglect the services of God's house. Uh, and it's an important witness to our neighbors and a help to one another to have you in worship. So if you can possibly make it, uh, I do invite you to come. If you can't, uh, because of health or distance, uh, there uh, we're, we always post the uh, the online uh, version of the sermon, and uh, we hope that you join us at least in contemplating God's word and in prayer. Um, the the prayer list is always in that top right corner of the website, and there are some new names on it this week. Uh, we continue to, uh, to pray for four families, or we have four families in the immediate stages of grief. Uh, we're praying for Thomas's family. Uh, this is Lori's pop. Uh, we're praying for Joel's family. This is Adam's grandfather and Ken's brother. Uh, we're praying for Lucy, uh, and uh, we're also praying for Lily, uh, for, Lu for Lucy's family and for Lily's family. And so I want to invite all of you into that. Uh, Laura is going through difficult cancer treatments. Sue has throat cancer surgery coming up this week. Um, uh, Dennis is in the hospital for uh, acute myeloid leukemia. Uh, Patty is in the ICU uh, for complications of COVID, although she is doing better. Uh, and the rest of the names you have seen before, but I want to commend all of them to you. I hope that you're spending time uh, praying for and remembering each of these people. And as you know who they are, know that you're finding ways to support them uh, during difficult times. Um, we are continuing uh, our, uh, our work uh, in the world through multiple partners. Uh, we are, uh, we've been emphasizing Lutheran World Relief you know, for the past couple of months. Uh, we have uh, in the parish uh, more than $450,000 uh, has gone to the people of Ukraine. Uh, we continue to invite others to join us in that. Uh, you can go to lwr.org slash match, or uh, if you want to, uh, to have your tally connected to the parish tally, lwr.org slash Tomorrow River. Uh, and we would be uh, honored to have you join us in that endeavor. Confirmation is done for the year, but we're going to leave the videos up for a while. You can find them on the website, uh, and uh, and if there's a, if there's thinking you want to do or talking you want to do about any of those stories of the Old Testament, I am always available. Uh, confirmation will crank back up in the uh, in the fall, and next year, uh, be year two of our three-year cycle, will be the Jesus year. So we have that to look forward to. Uh, Confirmands, get your work done. Just get it done so that you can have a wonderful summer uh, free of all those sorts of cares and responsibilities. Senior Sunday is happening on the 29th. That's a week from this coming Sunday. Uh, we're asking seniors to wear their caps and their gowns, and we want to celebrate with you your achievement. We want you to know that we love you, that we're proud of you, and that you are leaving uh, this place with our prayers and our affection and our hopes as you move on to whatever comes next. There are 
five scholarships available to, uh, to graduating seniors. Uh, a couple of them are also good for people who, who, are, who are into their um, uh, studies, their, their uh, college years, uh, or their, their time at uh, vocational training. Uh, so uh, those, there's a, a link at the top of the website, scholarships, click on that. Uh, those scholarship applications are due at the end of the month. We're gonna decide in June, uh, the council will approve the decisions uh, at its uh, at their June meetings, uh, and then we will, uh, whatever the rules say, we'll get the money to you or to your institution uh, at the time that's listed in the rules. But there are five opportunities for you to uh, to receive funding for whatever comes next. There's also funding for Bible Camp scholarships. Uh, so if if you uh, if you would uh, like to send your kid to Bible Camp, if you'd like to send your grandkid to Bible Camp and you want to, uh, to get a little help because it has become unbelievably expensive, you know, let us know and we would be honored to walk with you in all of that. Uh, we're still uh, collecting stuff. Uh, we're going to be doing it, I think, forever until Jesus comes back uh, for Lutheran Road Relief care kits, personal care kits, school kits, baby kits, information's on the website. You know what to do. You know what to buy. Uh, and I invite you into that as well. I think we're going to let the announcements go right there. Uh, there's, uh, there's a lot to think about that we've already covered. There's a lot going on. And I uh, am delighted to be able to share the work of this place and this time with you. You take care. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.